You still have the day where you're going to do a blood drop north, right? So you want to read me the, that sentence or the first words? Sound. Sound it out. I see the cat. What about you, bud? They gave the baby less than a 5% chance of surviving minutes after birth. Luca's conditions required that he had an open heart surgery within five days after birth. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at the boat. I wow. spy a coin, a carriage, a nest, a spring, and a missing. My youngest son and his wife were starting their family, and at their 20 week ultrasound, the doctor determined that there were some abnormalities within the baby's. Um, chest cavity. What that required was that my daughter-in-law relocate out to the Denver Aurora area once she hit 32 you like weeks. looking at the butterflies floating, huh, buddy? I had just recently got laid off from my job. Having the flexibility to be able to be here for my family, no matter where that's at, where it's at in the country, um, was kind of the number one driver to take the, the course and participate in the program. It really was just a blessing and a miracle. It happened all at the right time. The Rural Online Initiative is, is one of the best uh, rural economic development uh, initiatives that we've done in the history of the state of Utah. The purpose of the Rural Online Initiative, could we connect people in rural Utah to remote jobs? Specifically, could we create a program that connects them to jobs in, in urban Utah? It's a no-brainer sell. It opens up a whole new world of opportunity. If anyone has the opportunity to take the course for the ROI program, I would take it. If I were to tell anybody anything, it would be go for it. You never know when you will get the opportunity to work from home. The Rural Online Initiative is different because we're investing in people. Utah is the fastest growing state in the U.S and over 30% of that growth is from people moving into the state. Many come for the natural beauty, the wide open spaces, and the lifestyle that holds a sense of freedom unlike anywhere else in the world. Utah has five legendary national parks. And beyond that, Utah has 43 additional state parks. Every county in Utah touches a national forest and Utah's population averages only 32 people per square mile. Naturally, Utah's small towns are the keepers of the state's unique Western culture. And with that unique frontier spirit, Utah has been a hub of entrepreneurial activity from its inception. And today, Utah is one of the center points of the technology industry in the United States. Global tech giants as well as budding startups find a friendly home in Utah. And while tech companies have had a booming effect on Utah's more urban centers, Utah's small communities have suffered. People have been moving away from small towns in an alarming rate. Many state and local leaders have grown concerned about losing that cornerstone of Utah's unique culture. And that is where the Rural Online Initiative got its start. This idea that um, there's no talent in, in rural Utah, it's just not true. Um, and if there is any truth to it, it's only true because the talent has no choice and has to go somewhere else. We had this decade of, of economic growth and economic expansion, but that net gain in jobs happen in urban centers. Once they get to high school, they, they don't see the opportunities and so they leave. Too many talented people who want to be there, who, who could live there, can't because they don't have the opportunity. You know, how do we bring something to, to them instead of having to bring them out of those communities? We have to diversify our economy and the way that we do that is by connecting these people in our rural communities with remote work opportunities. And remote work should be a strategy for every single rural community across Utah. That way, we uh, when we talk about the prosperity of Utah, it's not just about you know, the prosperity and the growth in, in urban Utah. It's about the entire state. San Juan County is located in the southeast corner of Utah. Cliffs, canyons, and plateaus unlike any in the world. Because of its unique terrain, 
San Juan County has been a prime location of Western films for nearly a century. It also contains the majority of Canyonlands National Park and the east side of Lake Powell's Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. At the heart of San Juan County is Blanding, and with just under 4,000 residents, Blanding is the largest city in the county, making it a touchstone of small town life in Utah. But Blanding is no stranger to the economic challenges facing small towns across the state. Like so many others, Vicki and her family have chosen Blanding as their home. And the Rural Online Initiative allowed her to utilize the skill set she already had while providing the boost her family needed to maintain their home in this small town. I'm in the Quilt Guild here in Blanding and I like to do quilting projects. It's peaceful here. So it's a small community, but most of us know each other, or have similar friends, so we feel safer and we take care of each other. We have 10 acres south of Blandy. I mean, we've had animals, we've had milking cows, we've had, we have goats down there and, and sheep, and this is my husband's dream as a farm. Me, I wanted to go to school and become an accountant when I was taking the Rural Online Initiative course. You know, they're here, what do you want to do? And I'm here, I want to put my accounting degree to work and work from home. I was on unemployment, looking for jobs. I exhausted everything here in San Juan and Grand Counties. The woman that became my supervisor in the current job that I have, she called me and says, Vicki, I want you. It's been a really good job that worked into the Rural Online Initiative work in that I get to work from home. And it's been great. I got to put my accounting degree to work. Typically my day sometimes starts at five, sometimes starts at six. I get to see the son and his friends more often because they usually stop here right after school. And my thought is you'd never know if you will get the opportunity to work from home. But by having and going through the Rural Online Initiative courses, you already have that in place. You come out of it with a certificate and so it's been great to put that certificate in with my resumes. Let's do another Zoom meeting in the morning. In the morning? And let's see if we can call them. Would that work? If I, we call, I can call them and get them on speakerphone with you? My day can start as early as 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and then it can go, I can be seeing clients as they need clear until 7, 8 o'clock at night. And so being able to be here in the office where traditionally I'd like to be. I, you know, I've got a set up here, but I can also do it at home if I need to or from a hotel room. Um, and so I work for Innovative Harbor. I am their employment specialist with the vocational rehabilitation. What are the words you can pick from? Can you sound those out? Uh, I'll show you. Okay, let's see. Okay. There are it and was. I could be seeing two or three clients in person. I could be job coaching with their, their job for an hour or two a day, and then I could be doing Zoom calls from wherever I am. Um, so I finished the program the end of May, and then I saw the advertisement, I wanna say maybe it was the, right around the 15th of June. The two things that, that helped push me over being the most qualified candidate was the, I had utilized and been a vocational rehabilitation um, person that completed my program, they helped me go back to school, and then to the ROI program, knowing that that would open up the doors to be able to reach more people. Iron County borders Nevada near the south end of the state. It has 54,000 citizens and 3,300 square miles. Its terrain ranges from arid desert regions of the Great Basin to one of the state's most popular ski resorts. Colorful land formations, national forests, and even part of the world-famous Zion National Park are found within the borders of Iron County. Cedar City, located on the I-15 corridor, is the largest city in the county with a mere 32,000 residents. 
and families like Carrie's choose to live there because of the small town atmosphere and lifestyle it provides. And the Rural Online Initiative provides the opportunity for her family to remain and thrive here. The community gets a little bigger when the town gets a little smaller. Just the pace of life is a little slower and you kind of stop and appreciate a little bit more of the everyday things. In Cedar City, it's not a small town, but it's got the small town feel. We didn't want to give up every other weekend when there's so much around to explore and bring the kids out and explore places on the weekends when with nursing, typically what I did, it was an every other weekend. So that was a big part of wanting to find a work from home job, but it's hard to also weed out legitimate work from home jobs. I was part of a mom's group and a couple of the moms work at the university here in town and knew about the program. So they sent me the information on it. I would have never found this company without the program because they have a, they have a channel in Slack for job postings. So it's like jobs that they know are legitimate that are hiring and that's how I found it. I get up, I have my cup of coffee, get our kids up, get them ready for school, and then I start my day at work. My littlest one is an online preschool. I have myself unscheduled from 11 to noon to sit down with her and have lunch with her, and, and then I go back to work for another two to three hours, and kids are coming home from school at about that time, so I'm still here, and usually I'm done with my day by then, and I set my own work hours. So if a kid's sick from home from school, or if I want to go volunteer at a school field trip, I could. If we want to go somewhere for the weekend and take a partial day on Friday and do like a longer weekend, we can easily do that. If anyone has the opportunity to take the course for the ROI program, I would take it. It's very helpful in becoming successful working from home and knowing how to have that good work-life balance. You know, it, it's hard to make more than minimum wage here. A lot of people, they'll leave. They get old enough and they'll leave. Seeing what the community looked like back when I was growing up in the, the 80s and early 90s, there was a lot more commerce, there's a lot more business, and it's kind of been a little bit more depressed. It's almost like they, they all went away. Um, I was born and raised here in Price, Utah, moved away for about 15 years to the Uana Basin, and then came back the same year that my dad died, and just felt that this is the place I needed to be, I needed to be close to family. We've got a lot of untapped potential here in our region to be able to work remotely. We've got a phenomenal university here that we've got a lot of individuals that have these skills. People don't necessarily have to live up in the, the city. They don't have to live up in the Provo, Salt Lake areas. They can live someplace that's maybe a little bit more affordable, maybe um, a little bit slower pace. Having the ability to work remotely opens up those avenues. I mean, it's a game changer. When, when we first started the program, we had this vision to connect people in rural Utah to uh, jobs around the world. Um, specifically though, we wanted to connect them to jobs on the Wasatch Front. There's a very tight labor market in urban Utah. Uh, in order to, to you know, hire a new employee, you've got to steal them from another company. We developed a leadership course that teaches people in urban Utah, specifically organizational leaders, how to create a remote work plan for their organization. Now, I've been watching Paul develop this program for years, and so I took Paul's invitation to take the leadership course for ROI because I wanted to see how you do this as a leader. So I took the course, and uh, basically for my homework, I wrote a plan, which was my business's plan for how we were gonna deal with you know, remote work and communication and, and meetings and all hands and stand-ups and the kind of things you have to do. Since then, we hired a lot of people that are pure remote and we could engage them, hire them, onboard them, and then work with them on a daily basis in a remote environment. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting in the office or if you're sitting in your home in Carbon County. So the, those people bring great value to the, to the chain now. And just empowering them, I guess, is what the ROI program is trying to do. He was put on heart bypass in order to do his last open heart surgery where they totally disconnected his 
inferior or his superior vena cava from where it connects with his heart routed that directly to his lungs. Yeah. And he's got an outlook of one more heart surgery. I don't have to take a leave of absence. I don't have to put my clients on hold. I don't have to have that huge gap. I can still work from wherever I go. As long as I can work, I can work from anywhere. So it makes it nice. It opens things up and I think job satisfaction, life satisfaction, finding a balance. It helps helps me feel like I like myself and I like my life. The Rural Online Initiative gives anyone the opportunity to learn how to take advantage of those tools and how to do it from their, their, their living room. It gives you the tools to make work and home life compatible. So they're no longer limited by the opportunities just in their geographic regions. It's very helpful in becoming successful working from home and knowing how to have that good work-life balance. The ROI program put me head and shoulders over the other applicants. The Rural Online Initiative program prepares people in rural Utah for the future.